All right, hello, and welcome back to the Bob Cave. We're here continuing the Iceman Legends story mode. Uh, we just saved here. We made the save. Playing as Wolverine right. and Cyclops. Let's continue on. I will annihilate you! See you later, buddy. This isn't over. Nothing, but hey, you gotta try anyway. Look at that comic book. Too heavy. Too heavy not to beat up there. Sweet. I can't lift this. Beat down the pillar. Alright, I think we got enough shit. Let's move on. No shit. I mean, I could have a field day here. I can't lift this. Screw it, they're gonna keep giving me stuff. I'm gonna keep doing it. Take you. Too heavy. Thank you. Hey, who the fuck are you? Alright, Wolverine leveled up yeah, again. Ain't no one standing in my way. Okay. Let's get a Wolverine. Up on the rooftop we go. The game's over, X-Men. Sweet. He's done. Set and match. See you later, punk. Sweet little green gas rip through him. Psych just leveled up. Awesome. Yes. Run while you got the chance. Got him. Another one got. All right. North rooftops, here we come. Good old Cyclops and Wolverine running through shit right now. Uh, 
too heavy. All right. I'll destroy everything here. You are destined to lose, X-Men. Damn, psych. Game, set, and match. Yeah. <clears throat> Done, son. Get back up there. Can we? Well, rain showing the park, dude. Gladly take you. The game's over, X Men. X Men, give me a hand here. Well, we, we gotta get through this, motherfuckers. Thanks for playing. There's a laser disc there. Laser. Steps. Teamwork 101. Stick with the guy we know, Bob. All right. Hey. Gotta keep moving then, until we can bring him back. I will annihilate you! Say goodnight, Bob. My work is never done. <laughs> Why is all this happening to me? Allison, it's okay. Things were fine until last week. I got mad at my little brother and suddenly the ground started to shake. I knew it was my fault, but I didn't want to admit it. Your powers are becoming active, which... Things have only gotten worse. That lava in the street? I made it happen. I'm becoming a mutant. There's nothing wrong with... And that woman? She was gonna make me join something called the Brotherhood. She could come after me again. Anytime! Allison, you couldn't be in safer hands. We're the X-Men.
from Professor Charles Xavier. <clears throat> I don't remember how his voice says on here. Professor Xavier, I'd like you to meet Allison Crestmere. I know who she is. Hello, Allison. Welcome to the Institute. How are you? A little confused, but I'm okay. That's understandable. Perhaps Jean could take you on a tour of the mansion, or would you prefer that I show you the true purpose of the Institute in the sub-basement? I'd like Jean to show me around. It would be my pleasure. As you move from room to room, I'll give you a little information on the X-Men. Once you're done with Jean's tour, come back here and I'll show you the sub-basement. Lead the way, Allison. Welcome to the Xavier Institute, Allison. This place is huge. What is it? This is the Xavier Institute, a school where mutants learn to control their abilities, as well as discovering more about themselves and their place in the world. A school for mutants? I, I didn't know there was such a thing. The fact that the students are mutants is kept secret for everyone's protection. In addition to being a school, the mansion is also home to the X-Men. Cool. I've heard of the X-Men. What room is this? The library is one of the most popular rooms in the house. There's a wide variety of literature here, from Shakespeare to comic books. It's an interesting mishmash of styles, kind of like the X-Men. Who are you? My name is Jean Grey, and I've been an X-Man most of my life. Today, in New York City, were you talking to people with your thoughts? Yes. My mutant abilities deal with telepathy and telekinesis. You're a mutant? Yes, I am. You'd be hard put to find someone around here who isn't. I didn't think there were many people like me. Our numbers are growing, and it's nothing to be ashamed of, Allison. Even though there are a few people who would like you to be. You're telepathic? I have the ability to read minds and communicate mentally. And telekinesis means you can list stuff with your thoughts, right? Exactly. I've grown quite powerful at it over the years, but... I doubt I'll ever master it. Thanks for the info. Classes are held here, Monday through Friday. This is the sitting room. It's a great place to kick back and relax. Needless to say, this room doesn't get a lot of use by the X-Men. Up we go. To the dormitories. Let's see who's sleeping in my bed. Messing with my head. <clears throat> the second floor of the mansion has bedrooms for many of the X-Men. This is the second floor elevator. 
From here, you can go to the first floor or the sub-basement. This room belongs to Scott Summers. Hmm. You met him in New York, the guy with the optic blasts. He was the very first X-Man, and he's the team leader. Oh yeah, I remember him. He's kinda cute. And he's kinda spoken for. Oh, I, I didn't mean to. I'm just teasing, Allison. Scott and I have been together forever. I'm lucky to have him. This is my bedroom. I've lived here off and on since I was a teenager. The X-Mansion is pretty much the only real home I've ever known. This is your room, Allison. If you want it. I bet you'd find the mansion a great place to learn about your abilities. I'm not sure if I want to learn about that too. After what happened in New York. Maybe it'd be best if I never use them again. But Allison, if you don't learn to control your abilities now, they could wind up causing far more damage later on. I suppose you're right. Still, I don't know. This is Hank McCoy's room. We call him Beast, but not as an insult. You'll find out why when you meet him. To look at him, you'd never guess he was such a bookworm. Move your ass, Jean. Let's go back. This is Rogue's room. You like her. She's a bit of a wild child. She tends to get into trouble? Well, Rogue did a few questionable things before joining the X-Men, but she's proven herself to be an invaluable member of our team. It's a bit complicated, but her power deals with direct skin contact, which is why she always wears gloves. Aurora Monroe lives here. Her mutant abilities allow her to control the weather, which comes in handy with her favorite pastime, gardening. Aurora, what a pretty name. Her code name is Storm. She takes over as leader of the X-Men if Scott Summers isn't around. Let's just keep invading all the X-Men's privacy. This guy be will ring Bobby Drake now. stays here. His code name is Iceman. Let me guess. He makes ice. He can freeze almost any object instantly. I'd keep an eye on him if I were you. He's a real charmer. This room belongs to the ultimate man of mystery, Wolverine. Although he's a bit rough around the edges, Wolvie's the best friend you could ever want, and the worst enemy you could possibly imagine. That's the truth. <clears throat> Just ask Cyclops, so. Huh? This is the home of Peter Rasputin. He's pure Russian, from the top of his crew cut to the bottom of his size 18 feet. You'd never believe a body of steel could house such a gentle heart.
Not let me review anything. Ah, uh, great, I'm off. Hmm, figured to head trauma. Oh shit. Damn Jamini. Hmm. Yes. We're rolling. <clears throat> hmm. Yeah, 
63. Alright, one more and I think we're done. Oh, England. All right. Believe we hit all the rooms. Let's get back down there, Savior. Let's get down there. We're gonna save them. We'll call it a day. Sounds good to me, right? the day room and oh yes but I'll leave Are you ready to see the true purpose? Could you take me on the sub-basement tour? Yes, indeed. You see, a majority of this facility is underground so as not to attract the attention of those who mean ill will towards mutant kind. It features state-of-the-art training equipment that helps prepare the X-Men for any challenges they may encounter. Let's do it. Sub basement time. Sunny bro. S man, baby. Let's rock. <clears throat> this is the war room. From here, we keep a watchful eye on the world for any signs of trouble. This is also where the X Men meet to formulate combat strategies. What's that holographic globe? That is the mission control computer. With it, you can examine and activate any missions that are currently available to the X-Men. I'll have to take a look at that later. Very good. Now, would you like a tour of the sub-basement, or would you prefer to explore on your own? I'd like a sub-basement tour. Feel free to inspect the rooms. I'll follow along and... Hello, my friends. Yes, the Brotherhood stormed through here. Me? I'm fine. What was the Brotherhood doing on Muir Island? They broke into my workshop and tore the place apart in search of a particular piece of equipment. Talk to you later, Forge. Anytime. Okay. Thank you. We're rather proud of it. Yes, Allison. What can I do for you? Never mind. Let's keep touring the sub-basement. 
This is the Brig, a highly reinforced area designed to contain practically any mutant. You keep prisoners? No, no, not at all, Allison. But there are those rare occasions when we need to detain an individual before handing them over to the proper authorities. That's a little man here, Charles. These are the transport tubes, a quick way of getting to the second floor of the mansion. But I didn't see any entrance to the tubes on the second floor. They're hidden, since the tubes are only used in emergencies. Give me the hell out. Yes, Allison. What can I do for you? I'm done with the sub. Let's do it. Let's go. Got a, uh, I mean, our first mission we did take on Mystique in the Blob. Haven't took on anyone yet here. But definitely looking to. Hey, Rogue. Hey, y'all. Aren't you the new girl? Wow, cool costume. You've got to be an X-Man. That's right, hon. My name's Rogue. And you're a mutant. Yup. My power lets me absorb all kinds of things through skin contact. Other mutant powers, memories, even someone's life force if I'm not careful. But it only lasts for a short time and then I return to normal. Or <laughs> at least as normal as I can be. Where'd you get that accent? Come on now, sugar. Y'all don't mean to tell me a yank like you has never met someone from the South. I was in New Jersey once. <laughs> well, honey, I grew up in a little town along the bank of the Mississippi River. I'm as southern as mint juleps and magnolia trees. You're lucky. At least you've got a mutant power that's easy to hide. Oh, it's not that easy, Allison. I can never touch someone without taking something from them. Oh, I never... Once, I bumped into Nightcrawler and I was blue for a week. Night who? Never you mind, sweetheart. You'll know him when you see him. Talk to you later. Don't be a stranger, y'all. Got some bios unlocked here. Is that what I need to do? Just run around and go meet people? Alright, so we met Rogue there. The scenery around here just improved 100%. Jean said you were cute, but that was the understatement of the century. You must be Bobby Drake. Hey, it's nice to see my name's gotten around. Did the other girls tell you what a cool dude I am? No, 
But Jean Grey warned me to keep an eye on you. Hmm. Oh, well, don't believe everything Jean says. She still hasn't forgiven me for that little incident in the changing room. Man, you enter one room without knocking and you're branded for life. I've heard you have the mutant power to freeze anything instantly. Yep, I can drop my body temperature in the air around me to sub-zero temperatures. It lets me cover my body in a protective shield of ice that even bullets can't get through. Pretty wicked, huh? Yeah, I'll say. But enough about me. Let's talk about you. It's always nice to meet a new student, especially one as pretty as you. Thanks, Bobby. But I'm not sure I want to be a student. Ah, oh, come on. It's a lot of fun. Plus, you learn how to use your powers. I'm not sure. Being able to generate lava kind of freaks me out. You get used to having mutant powers. After a while. Eventually, you'll even get to like them. I hope to see you soon, Bobby. Oh, you can count on that, Allison. I guess we can go upstairs now, right? We talk to Road. Talk to Bobby. See if anyone's in a room. Good knock, knock, knock. After that, I'll go out the front door. I'll try that. Workshop. <laughs> That's pretty funny. That's a mile room. Why, you must be Allison Cressmere. You're even prettier than Jean said you were. And you are? My name is Aurora Monroe, but here at the X-Mansion, I'm usually referred to as Storm. Where are you from? I'm originally from Kenya, Africa, but Professor Xavier asked me to join him here at the mansion. You're a mutant? I'm a teacher, and a gardener, and yes, I'm also a mutant. I have the ability to control the weather. No way! I can make it rain, sleet, or snow. Even lightning. I can also control the wind, which allows me to fly. Professor Xavier told me about the danger room. What's it like in there? Yeah. Stressful and exhilarating. 
You can never be sure what the professor or beast is going to throw at you. Aren't you afraid of being hurt? No. There are safety locks to protect us from serious harm. But the danger room does have a habit of leaving you with a few aches and pains. I'll see you later. I hope to see you soon, Allison. Not to show where to go. <clears throat> yeah, don't talk to us, man. Can't go that way.
Let's go back down. I don't know where else to go. <clears throat> Maybe we'll run into someone down here. Go that way. Can't go that way. Hello, Allison. Are you finding a way around all right? Yes, I'm just exploring. So you and Cyclops are an item, huh? It was a long time coming, but yes, eventually we managed to get together. But isn't it difficult dating someone when you're a telepath? There'd be no surprises. Oh, I would never read a person's mind unless I was given permission. But because of my powers, Scott and I have developed a permanent psychic bond. A psychic bond? Anywhere I go, I can always feel his presence, just as he can feel mine. I guess you could say we're soulmates. What's that beam that shoots out of Cyclops' eyes? It's called an optic blast, and it's powerful enough to punch a hole through carbon steel. Where does the energy come from? Scott's body absorbs solar energy and converts it into power for the beam. Why does Cyclops always wear those glasses? As a child, Scott was in an accident that damaged his ability to control his optic energy. As a result, his optic beam is constantly active. The only way he can shut it off is to close his eyes. So his power's kind of stuck in permanent on mode. Yes. Fortunately, Professor X created a visor with ruby quartz lenses that block the beam. That way Scott can open his eyes without destroying everything in sight. But... Regrettably, I'll never get to see his eyes because of it. I should be going now. Anytime you feel the need for a little girl talk, just let me know. We got it. 
<clears throat> the hangar bay houses the X-Men's main source of transportation. We call it the X-Jet, a state-of-the-art and constantly upgraded aircraft. Indeed, we keep the X-Jet prepped and ready to... There's anything else that I'm not to see, right? Guess we'll go. To nowhere. go that way. I'm sorry, miss. My sincerest apologies if I frightened you. Are you... Hank McCoy? Yes, indeed. Although my codename is Beast, for obvious reasons, I didn't always look like this. My animalistic appearance is due to a further genetic mutation. Aren't you Alison Crestmere? The young lady they aided in New York today? Yeah. I'm sure everyone's heard of me. I'm the freak who can turn a mini mall into mini Pompeii. Allison, my dear. You are most certainly not a freak. You are a mutant. Just as I am. Since you're a scientist, could you explain to me exactly what a mutant is? It would be my pleasure. You see, Mother Nature has a way of changing life forms, experimenting with them to see what would better help a species to thrive in its environment. That's evolution, like what Darwin wrote about. Very good, Allison. Correct. And recently, evolution has decided to endow various humans with an X gene, which is what gives us special abilities. So mutants are really just the next phase in human evolution. And the X-Men strive to be the conscience of this new breed. It's quite exciting. The people in New York didn't think it was exciting when I started making lava burst out of the ground. I bet my friend Mandy will never talk to me again. You never know what the future may hold. In the meantime, you have new friends, Allison. A whole mansion full of mutants who know exactly what you're going through. Thanks for the talk, Beast. My pleasure, Allison. Feel free to drop by any time. 
Perhaps we could discuss Darwinism in greater detail. <laughs>